a diva day. No, not me. Well, oh, maybe I'll join the club. Today is diva day. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much. If you're back, I really appreciate it. And if you're here for the first time, hi. Thank you for joining us and for clicking on this video. I really appreciate it. And as it is diva day, we are tackling bifoliates. And here you see Katlia Zagarik Wax African Beauty. And she was gorgeous this season, absolutely gorgeous. First time bloomer for me this season. And I do want to see those blooms again. Now, when I started soaking her in order to get her out of the pot, I heard all the gargling, all the oxygen exchange. And you can see, I hope you can see, let me show you. Let me show you. You can see how the water has receded. So I didn't fill her up. When I filled her up, I thought that was it, but it gargled and gargled and it has receded. So I do not anticipate the pot to be so full of roots. So why am I going for it? Why am I gonna tackle her now? Well, the reason being, she is growing new roots. She is a big orchid and I can either bump her up or put her back in the same pot, but I am gonna provide oxygen so that next year I have exactly the same size growth as I have had this year. At least that is the plan. And then it all depends what the orchid does, right? I can always say the same thing that we can see, we can anticipate, we can do what we think is best at what time. And then the orchid might actually change her mind and do something completely different. But what we can anticipate and what we do know, I would like to get ahead of and stay ahead of the game. So, new roots after blooming. Now, in the past, I used to um, take notes about all this when do my roots grow, etc. But that was just time consuming and I find totally unnecessary for me at this point because I watch my orchids. I want to see what they're doing and, and when I see new roots growing, then I assess what needs to be done, what time of year and is it feasible? And for me, the answer is yes, it is feasible. If there is some kind of shock, then at least I know new roots are growing. So basically I could say, oh, leave it. I'm gonna not do anything until next year. When I saw how the pot responded, I just thought there's really actually no need to intervene. But being as she's huge and she provides big chunky roots, they are gonna take over this pot relatively quickly. And then what do we have left? space-wise, oxygen-wise, for another 12 months? That is the question. And I don't want to have that lurking in the back of my head, haunting me, thinking that I think I've done enough repots in the last four weeks to last me quite some time. So I just thought, just do it. Then you won't be guessing. You'll know you've done your bit, and if something else goes wrong, well, that's another learning curve, but at least one part has been assessed and addressed. Let's see if I can dislodge this root. Are you all loose? Everybody's loose. Okay, let's go. And there is also um, a drying up pseudobulb in the back, which I'd like to get rid of. It's not an emergency, but you know, certain factors have come into play She's a diva and she's coming out while I've got the right time to do so. And then we shall see what's next. I have absolutely no intention of removing any part of her other than that old pseudobulb in the back there. So it's not like I need to make a rhizome cut or a division, not yet. Oh, watch the pot, Nina. Don't break pots, not now. We've been doing so well. Did you hear that crack? Yeah. Last time I heard that crack, my pot went 
into the garbage. And I don't want to do that again. I would like to reuse this pot if at all possible, but for another orchid, I'm gonna put this one in a bigger pot. And she is really holding on. Okay. Always mindful that these pots are starting to get brittle. Meanwhile, to be honest, it's been, they've been out exposed in the sun, this, that, and the other, in the heat. I've only lost two inner pots in, what is it, three years now? So that's not bad going at all. She is being stubborn. She's being the diva that bifoliates can be known to be. Okay, so I'm just gonna press down on the pot and jiggle. Here we go. Wasn't that hard now, was it? No need to be acting up like this. All right. We have something good to show. That's all right. Now you see another 12 months and that would be full. So where is the oxygen exchange? There would be none. And she's growing beautiful new roots. You can see them going in there and everywhere, at least down where I want them to be. So I can clean her up. One third of these roots is coming off. And so is the back here. You can see that that one's spent. So we'll be taking that off. She has also got a branching root system, so that gives me more room to play with. I can be a little bit more aggressive. And that is great news. Look at this. <laughs> African beauty. You can stick to your diva antics if you continue to do this. Right. As per usual, I'm going to get on with taking her apart, and I'll be back when we get to the relevant sections. So nothing uber exciting has actually happened at this point, but I wanted to fiddle a little bit and show you when I have a root ball that is so enclosed, I start cutting around the root ball like you would tease a terrestrial plant before you um, put it in the pot. You know, you tease the root ball and then you pot it up. And that's exactly the same principle I am applying here to get access to all areas, you know, like a free pass. And um, I do, I inch my way in bit by bit and then, you know, poke out the lecker that I can get to. Always go in with closed clippers when I do this, you know, jostling around with the lecker bit. And if there is something like this in the obstruction that is clear, then I can be already cutting away. So I start from the bottom up so that if I do, well, so that in damaging the roots that I am damaging, it's the ends, it's the last part of the root, and with any luck, if she behaves the way she normally would, she would branch on the upper half there. So you can see how root bound she is right here. I go in a centimeter, two centimeters at a time to work my way up into the area that is, for me, of relevance. And I hope by that, by doing that, I am not in any way stressing the root ball out too much and always being mindful that there are growing roots higher up and I won't nip them. So with a healthy root ball like this, it's easy. Don't have to think twice. There is no tiptoeing around the subject matter. It's just get in there and then think how much oxygen she will have for the next 12 months. And if she continues to be this vigorous, this could be a yearly process. It could be. My pots aren't that big. I have a maximum size. I don't have enough um, inside winter space in order to accommodate specimen sized plants. Boo hoo for me, but yay for my viewers. If they live in Europe, they can always count on being able to get divisions. 
which I think is a wonderful way to share. I mean, I like a good blooming. I like lots and lots of spikes, but I'd be very happy and satisfied if every orchid of mine would just give me one spike per year when she is supposed to, and make that a proliferous spike, big one, generous one, you know? That's fine with me. So I'm just going to continue cleaning her up with regards to the roots so that I have easier visual access to what I'm doing with regards to this bulb here being deteriorated. Okay, let's clean the hands with some jet and then at the same time clean out the debris in the middle here, giving us a better visual of what, where we're going to take off that bulb. I have not completely finished cleaning the roots yet, but I wanted to see how much is gonna come off when I take the back part off instead of fiddling around. I wanted to see where I can actually go, if there are any roots at all. So this is how far I have come. See, there's a lot still to be cleaned in here, but I think that's all gonna come off when I cut that old bulb off. There's some still tucked away, so there's still some work to be done, but let's get to the part that is of interest and make sure that I have you. Let's see, how far back can we actually go? Let's inspect a little closer before we do the runaway train, because this is what I want to get rid of. And we can go to here. We can also take this part off. We can also take this part off. Hmm. Now you got me thinking I could go into here. That's what I'm going to do. Now what I would like to also do is not have to pick up Lekka afterwards from the floor. There goes one. But I would like to protect this root when I cut. You see this? This is a viable, good root for this piece. Hmm. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I could go back even further and make it an even more viable piece. I know somebody who wants something like this. And I could actually make that happen because I've got three in the front and I can give her, oh yes. We are going all the way back to here because there is also an eye there and I have good roots. Wow, I'm glad I didn't just go choppity chop. We can make somebody happy. Let's clean this up. Now that we know where we're going, let's clean this up. I'm going to need two hands and the orchid steady. So I'm not going to do it with it in the air. I'm gonna zoom you in. Let me make sure that I've got you centered and then I don't move away from what you see on screen. That's the eye and that is the rhizome we're going to cut. Sterilized, cleaned, in we go. No fear. Ta -da. All right. And we're back to the having to separate the two. We're back to that. And I can use my old pot. Woohoo! Great. Okay, I'm going to do my thing here and fiddle her apart and I'll come back. I'm getting there, I'm getting there. It's a little bit more complicated than just cutting a rhizome, especially when you have viable roots on two pieces and you've just made a cut. But I'm slowly but surely untangling, oh, there we go, untangling them. So there we go. Right, this is a fantastic piece. I'm quite, happy with it. Unfortunately, I went and did a snap there. 
Uh, can't be helped, but it is annoying. That's not going to amount to anything that it's snapped off as a branch. And there's just a little bit of dead on the end of that one. Okay, right. <clears throat> so what's next? Well, as it is a breezy day, it is warm-ish. It's not hot, which is great. Less stress for what I'm doing to this diva here. Can you believe it? I'm showing a diva who's the boss. Hey, <laughs> but um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put cinnamon on the cut. Now that looks quite purple and I want to show you, but that is staining now. Let me show you the two cuts. So the left looks really purple and the right looks still, whoops, can't see it for that root. There. So they look all right. There's nothing wrong with them. The orchid has deep, deep burgundy, dark, dark blooms. So this is not what everybody would think it is. And I shall put this one up. Sasahibi. That is in my language in Swahili, immediately Sasahibi. And it's going back in its old pot. So I just wanted to qualify what I just said. This was the cut from the back of the old bulb that we took off and I cleaned it up. And this is the cut that was on the piece that bloomed earlier this year. So this is why there is staining as well because it is an old rhizome. So there's nothing wrong with this orchid whatsoever. If there's another opinion out there about what you're seeing, please let me know. I'd be very interested. There is no way I'm sending a, an infected piece. I am confident that it's not what we think it is. And if you think otherwise, let me know. I'd be very interested. So I'm going to put cinnamon on and then let's look at another diva while all this dries out. Okay, so while African Beauty is doing her little spa thing with her cinnamon mask, being all tarty and all that, uh, we are going to on to another beauty. But this is uh, the Kiwi Diva, my Catlia Siamese doll Kiwi. And why am I doing this now? And why with her? Well, here's the thing. I have no active growing roots. I can see there's an aerial root here. It's branching. So that's showing me that something is going to happen soon, is already happening. I just can't see it. I already have a new growth starting, which I don't like to work with when they're at this stage. But we're going to do our best. Go. And this new growth of this year here has actually not started an eye. The reason I'm going in, first of all, I've got branching. Now I'm seeing right here in the corner active root tips. So something's going on in the pot, but more importantly, look how full the pot is. I don't know if you can see how the water is there. And that did not recede from when I filled it. There was no goggling, there was no bubbling, there was nothing. She's chock-a-block full and she is probably ready to come out either into a bigger pot, but she also can do with a wonderful cleanup in the back and we'll see what we have to work with. So Siamese doll kiwi, diva numero deux for today. We are going in, no fear. Again, tell the divas who's the boss and they will probably respond with saying, watch me. <laughs> oh well, there's only one way to find out and to get it right in this instant for me is to go in deep dive and let's see what we can do about this gorgeous orchid. Now there's a lot of activity back here which is astonishing. Maybe there is no room in the front at all. So I'm going to try and keep the pot 
rotating in the same space so that you can see what I'm doing while I try to dislodge roots, which would then probably break because of what I'm about to do with her anyway. But you know, in the beginning, you've got to try. You have got to try. So we managed to get two off without any damage. Is two out of three ain't bad or is it three out of three? Well, for now we got three out of three out. So I hope that was a little bit in focus and in film. If not, then that's what we did. We managed to dislodge the root tips. Oh, and here we go. Rock hard. That's a good thing because sometimes the pot can be full anyway and not gargle and the whole thing is dead roots. So that's a good thing, it's rock hard. When you squeeze and the pot is full and it gets like gives easily like you saw with my Nanipuake Dogashima, if not I'm going to link it below or I put up a card, the pot was full. But when I squeezed it, there was a lot of give. So that was because there was no substance in the roots anymore. So let's see what we are up against. Now I know that some people enjoy this part and want to stick around. So I'm just gonna keep rolling the film I'll have timestamps in the description if you want to skip ahead. These are the times when I, my multitasking skills go down the drain because I'm concentrating. And then I do a little bit of the Charlie Brown with my tongue. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. of teasing. Now, that new growth, you know, I prefer, honestly, if somebody gives me a choice, I prefer to work with orchids that I either have a growth going a halfway up the original pseudobulb or not starting at all. <laughs> that is very concerning there. I mean, she's strong enough, she'll push out another one, but it's just an annoying factor, you know? Oh boy. I think today is another day out of two makes four. Wow, busy street out today, my goodness. Doesn't anybody go and have lunch anymore in Spain like they used to? Here's me thinking I'm filming during lunchtime when things could be quieter, but seems like Things are changed. They have to work when they can work, considering what's happened. All right, timestamp or not, I'll just uh, stop now and I'll be back when we're ready to dislodge. I actually had to go in with the tweezers, start dislodging individually. I, there was no give whatsoever, but just now she went cluck and came out and I like it I like it like that look at how little lecker has come out <laughs> so we have another task ahead of us especially when it comes to me watching about this new growth here that is something yeah not too hip about I'm hip about the new growth I'm hip about how it's formed and that it is actually growing the root system so we are on time all good doesn't always have to be on the surface. So just if you see signs like this in the edge, then you know something is happening somewhere and you can go for it. On a bifoliate, it's fundamental to get some root growth starting before going radical, if at all possible. And she is certainly holding on. So I'm going to go at her. I'm going to do my circle around the bottom, try to get in there, and then let's see what we have to work with. Yeah, if you've been on my channel so long, 
as I've been on YouTube doing videos, you know that when it comes time to spray down the root ball, then we are just trying to clear a little bit more of the debris out. I still have that new growth. I think I've been working away at this one now an hour. I am going to take off the little back parts. See how we go with that. It's, there's no eyes or anything, but let's take it off first and then uh, see how we do. I've been really good about the new growth. She was locked in. I want to show you why I'm gonna just take off the back end and not make a whole division because she is growing in a Y, in a Y shape right there. You see how she goes into two different directions, left and right? Yeah, so I'm just gonna cut her right there. See who wins, which diva wins, me or her. All right, so it's just this back end that really hasn't got much to show for. So we have a nice clean rhizome, cinnamon agogo, and this one could show a sign of promise. There's an eye. It's tiny. It's a long way off doing anything, but you know what? It's not going to take up much space. So the Lekka looks pretty clean, and I could use it again, but I'm not going to. Reason being that I smelled decay. Even though I didn't find much in the root ball, I am not going to risk just because I didn't see something. There could be something on the leka or something. Whatever it is, I'm not using it again. So there's that. Well, we are on the homeward stretch. Just want to show you that I haven't sacrificed everything. There's still some good growth going on in there. And that is how I'm going to keep her for the time being. She's going back in her old pot. I've washed it out, but I want to see how far back I can get her without compromising the option of another growth coming in that area. If I've just chopped her off at the back, maybe something will get triggered. And I would like to make some space for that. And I still have my new growth. So I'm leaving her a little bit lower while I collect Lekka. We'll put some in the front first. So that she stays where I want her. Watch the new growth, watch the new growth. There, she's now put. Still a bit low, but we'll fix that shortly. Okay, let's get that rhizome up and at least the back part free of Lekka. A bit of a shake and a lift. Get her into nice mid-shifts, as my dad would say. Captain of a ship, mid-shifts, centered. And then he would say, steady as she goes. And it reminds me a lot when I'm doing this kind of work with my orchids, steady as she goes. Take your time. He always used to say, whatever you do, make it worth your while. Do not waste your own time. There will be plenty of others around who will waste your time for you. And there's nothing you can do about it. But when you do something of your own accord, make sure you do it right. Otherwise, you have just wasted your own time. And I'm like, wow, okay. And I love that advice. I really do. It stuck with me. I don't know how old I was when he told me about it, when he gave me that advice, but it sure left its mark and, and impression on me. 
There we go. And subsequently, sometimes, sorry, Dad, but sometimes because of that advice, I tend to procrastinate because it's like I'm now weighing my options. Is it the right time? Am I going to do it properly? Is this something I want to do in case it takes longer? Then it will take longer because I'm like this and I need to do it like that. That goes with everything in my life. I can be doing something, it's just going to take 10 minutes and suddenly I'm into it and then I'm like, don't waste your own time, do it right. And there I am then two and a half hours later. Um, oops, there's an orchid soaking. I got to go run. Ah, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. So if you made it this far into this video, I can assure you that I am extremely grateful for your company. I don't know if that helps anybody, but okay. So let's pull her up on the back a little bit more because of that rhizome. And there we have it. Two divas in one day or three. If I include myself in that three, three divas in one day. Let me show you the others. Four hours later, two divas taken care of. Now, let's see which one will throw a strop. I am hoping that neither one will, but you never know, you never know. I think we've got it right. I've got root growth, I've got great root growth in my Siamese doll as well. We did a nice division. And I'm sure that when I contact the person this is spoken for, they're gonna be quite happy. And then there's Siamese doll, which is another division. I'm just going to leave this one on Lekka because there is no, there are no roots at all. So it's just on Lekka as a little humidity thing. I've got the, the dome as well for it, but not for this purpose right here and now. And this uh, Zagarig wax division, because it has roots, I have got it like in uh, like semi water culture, water culture now, because they know this environment. The roots are not touching the water at all, but they are moist. And I'm hoping that by that, I'm going to be able to keep them going. There's a bit of an air gap there that I don't like much. That's not what they're used to, but I'll sort that out afterwards. However, I'm going to keep them going like this, hopefully, and then see how to get this off to the new owner. Um, yeah, so that was it. Woo, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope that this video is going to be edited down to something reasonable. If it becomes a little bit tedious and you're still here, I really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. And if you have any questions, as always, please, please, never in need, just ask. You know the drill. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you in the next one. And I hope that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.